a little, little disappointed we're uh, no, no Tracy Smothers tonight. I agree, I agree. Z-Bar, he's a pretty big prick. And he's a, he is self-proclaimed IWA's most hated wrestler. And uh, so to see him here tonight, oh, that's I don't know, Jimmy, I think somebody sitting to my left is probably IWA's most hated wrestler. And no one will ever touch you, ever. I was there for that run. And Z-Bar with a standing side headlock go behind. That was kind of uh, sexual harassment. Looks right now that Z-Bar is not taking Mickey seriously. And as a guy, I've been in the ring with Mickey Nessus a couple times. She's as tough as any dude in wrestling. Legitimately, she's tough, man. She, she, she's not, she's not quote unquote, good for a girl. She's good as a wrestler, you know? She's, she's just like one of the guys. They don't call her the walking episode of Cops for nothing. This is a woman that seriously sat down there with Ian Rotten as he pounded her in the face. This is a girl that takes light tubes over her head. I don't know any woman that can do that. No, man, she's, she's crazy, but yeah. She's, she's a good wrestler on the mat, uh, you know, trained by Ian and uh, Chris not a Hero. slouch on the mat either. Yes. But Chris Hero, who's known for his uh, prowess as far as uh, And Mickey Knuckles using using her ample posterior to uh, go around and get Z-Bar. He's not, though. He's Z-Bar. Sure. Z-Bar's done a lot, man. He's been working for, what, you know, nine, ten years? You know, like you said, he's been to Japan, been all over Europe, you know, all over the United States. Uh, you know, he hasn't sold out arenas like Ricky Morton has, but... Hmm? Axel, uh... Axel's been working what now for, for a while now? Yeah, a long now. time. 17, 18 years. Yep. Broken, he was only 17 years old. He's been in WCW, USWA, yep. ECW. And right now, actually, uh, Axel's in probably the best shape I've ever seen him in. I agree. I, uh, in Joliet, I was in the locker room with him, and I didn't even recognize him when he walked in. He kind of so. almost looks like a handsome fellow. He does. He does. If you are just joining us on DVD, if you just walked in, there will be no screaming in this match. I just want to uh, say that right now. Collar and elbow tie up into the corner. Z-Bar saying his hair was pulled. I don't think Axel's gonna do that. He's got a lot of hair to pull, and it's weird looking. He's, he's got that wrestler's haircut. You shave underneath and long ponytail. It's the uh, old 1994 soccer style. Yeah, and Ricky Morton has the uh, 1980s wrestling Yes, yes, he does. And it's up there. Big elbow there by uh, Axel Rotten going for Ricky Morton. Ricky wants no part. Ricky stands in this. You know, early on we heard uh, Axel say, hey, we're going to cheer the good guys, boo the bad guys, and uh, he didn't really mention where Ricky stands, so it's kind of curious, man. Uh, heard big rock and roll, rock and roll chants, man, he's over. So, hey, the crowd's cheering. And look at that tag in. Ricky Morton comes in, and I got to say, he looks phenomenal. Yeah, man, he looks good. You know? Yeah. He was never, uh, you know, a bodybuilder, but he still looks, you know, in, in good shape like he's been in for, you know, the past, you know, 20-some years he's been working. He was a worker. I mean, he was a guy, he did the hours with Ric Flair and night after night. And Axel threw out words like heels and babe faces. You know, best babe face, one of the best babe faces of all time. Ricky it's undoubtedly Ricky Morton. When you're a kid and you're coming up in his business, you know, when I was coming up in his business, I studied Ricky Morton. I watched you know, what he did, how he did it. And he's a hell of a talent, man. I'm, I'm, I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm real curious to see, uh, you know, how he's going to be holding up here. Well, so far, so good. I mean, he hasn't done too much, but... Just got him know, Yeah. Yep. I don't know if he's you know, he still going out or not. Maybe we'll see here tonight. Come on, Ricky, come on. Standing side headlock there by Axel Rotten, shot off by Ricky Morton. Ricky Morton goes down. Both these guys, you know, good friends with Chris Candido. Yes. That's the reason we're here tonight. Yeah. And now he's selling it. Axel's pointing out the, uh, yes. Ricky Morton selling and uh, one, of the, one of the best uh, ever to do that. <laughs> the Death Valley Driver uh, video review message board. They're going crazy right now watching this match because there's all kinds of insider terms. Rob Naylor's going crazy right now. I've never met him. Never met him. Like his post, never met him. I've never met him either, but he does. Uh, what, what, 
we'll, we'll quit talking about the Marks and start talking yeah, about the rest of it. Absolutely. Time. Ricky Morton's in the ring. I mean, great. You know, Ricky Morton, of course, meet Chris uh, the, uh, uh, Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rock and Roll Express, what, 10 times Smoky Mountain champions, I think? Wow. Uh, so, uh, Ricky Morton probably one of, if not the most accomplished tag team wrestlers of all time. And there's receipt for the shoulder tackle right there. You know, I work with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of older gentlemen a lot and uh, come across a lot of older guys. And when we get to talking about wrestling, there's always certain guys that are brought up. The Rock and Roll Express and the Midnight Express are always two teams that are brought up. Sure, and uh, I don't know, uh, not, not, not the, well, whatever. I was watching a WB 24 7 this week. Oh, uh, rubbing it? Which, which I do you love. You know, I'll, I'll put that over. Yeah. Uh, and they have a little thing called, uh, uh, where, where, where some guys sit around a table and talk about wrestling. The round table. The round table, and yeah. they were talking about the greatest feuds of all time. And I think it was uh, uh, Michael P.S. Hayes who said his favorite feud of all time was Rock and Roll Express and Midnight Express. You know? And it's one of those feuds that still hand, uh, holds up to this day. Sure, man. You know? Those guys tore it up. Those guys they tore did. the house down. I mean, and they were tag teams. They weren't supposed to, you know, sell at arenas. They weren't supposed mm -hmm. to be on that level, but they were. Yeah, and they were. Mickey's starting to get a little uh, mouthy with Ricky Morton, man. You, you don't, don't want to do that. No. 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 I've been married for 28 years. That don't bother me. Okay. <laughs> Ricky Morton now going for a handshake. Whoa. What's going on? I'm, I'm all for mind games, too, and I know Mickey wants to be taken seriously, but the last thing I'm going to do is shove Ricky Morton or kick him in the butt, man. I, even a prick like me, I have too much respect for the guy. Whoa, Ricky Morton said he'll knock him down. Wait a minute. Axel and Mickey. Wow. Ricky Morton taking over with a suplex. Well, I told you, man, she's tough, dude. I mean, she almost beat me. You know, I'm just a lot of guys have beat me, but no girls have ever beat me. She came real, real close. I'm just really confused by the uh, working here of Axel Rotten and Mickey Knuckles. I mean, they're talking heels and baby faces, and you know, Z Bar is a heel, but look at look at the the tactics. There, that's dirty. After after the uh, the line we heard from my Axel, I'm, I'm a little surprised. They're closed fists, you know, raking the back. Now he's choking. Well, you know what? I guess, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to boo Ricky Morton. So. No, I mean, I would never boo Ricky Morton. But somebody's got to be the dirty one, I guess. Well, that's what Z Bar was in there for. Apparently, that's what Axel's in there for right now. Axel Rotten now dropping that elbow right across the top of the head. Of Ricky Morton fires back. Look at that. And a rake of the eyes by Axel Rotten. Back and forth. This match right here, a reason why a lot of people were coming to the Candido Cup, not only to pay tribute to Chris Candido, but for this match. What the? Off the Looks like Big Morton might have to do this one alone. Wow, and that's a little funny. I don't know why Z Bar would do that. As much as a prick he is, this is for the Adi Mid South World Tag Team Titles, the finals will be. And this is a prestigious tournament here, so. Yeah. This is Z-Bar's only shot to do something. Ego aside, man, like, you want the win. And another big headbutt there by Mickey Knuckles. And takes much, much like we've seen in the past for years and years and years, this tag team has chosen to isolate Ricky Morton. And Ricky Morton is now, he's in a territory he does not want to be in. No question about it, but look at this crowd. I feel like it's 1985. I feel like it's 85. The Rock and Roll Express getting beat down, man. They were. And a big right hand to Z Bar. Z Bar just tripped. And that's it. Wow, and Z Bar screwed Ricky Moore. Z Bar costing his own partner the match, wasting his shot at the at the tag titles.